Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to another episode of Building on WordPress. My name is Josh Donnelly and in today's video, we are going to take a look at the all new CS charts for the Cornerstone Builder and how to power those charts using external data from a Google Sheet. Now, I know some of you are like, yep, nope, there is no way I'm going to be able to do that, but I promise you it is super simple and we are going to break things down step by step. So without further ado, let's dive in. Here we are in our Google Sheet and we are going to create the this from scratch let's go ahead and just give it a name we'll call this our business data and then we're going to name our first two cells here so for cell one we'll call this months and for cell two we'll call this customers and now in our months column here we'll go ahead and just add Jan Feb March so on and so forth and our customers we're just gonna add some simple data so we can see this reflected on the front end when we're building this out so we'll just go in increments of 100 here and there we have it so now that we have our google sheet set up we need to turn this into an api that could provide json to our website to power our charts and this is actually super simple the first thing we're going to do is jump up to extensions here and create an apps script and as soon as this opens up you'll notice that we can title this app so we'll give our project a name we'll call this our api and rename that and then we can type out our function here and some of you are like yep nope this is where you're going to lose me but i promise you even this part is simple i would recommend that you guys hop on over to medium and read through ravgeet's article here it's literally a four minute read and it breaks down how to convert a google sheet into an api he provides the steps and the code and explains what the code is doing. I've gone ahead and compiled all of that code already, so we're gonna go ahead and just paste that directly into our apps script here, and we'll go ahead and save the project. Now with the project saved, we'll jump up to our deploy button here and click on create new deployment. Under our select type, we'll click the cog, and we want this to be a web app, and we'll give our web app a name. We'll just call this version one API. And then we want to update who has access to anyone. We'll go ahead and click deploy. And if this is your first one, it's going to ask you to authorize access to this app script. And there's our authorize access button. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. I'm going to go through the validation workflow, which is just logging into your Google Docs account, but we're going to breeze through that here. And now that we have that done, it is updating our deployment and we should get an API URL in just a moment here. And there we have it. Now, if you were to just click on this URL, it's going to show up as an error. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Open up in a new tab here and we get an error. And the reason for that error, if we jump back over to our function here is because we've actually said that we are going to specify which sheet to pull the data from with this path query parameter. And so we need a value in there. So what we want to do is actually jump back into that URL. So let's go test deployments. Let's get our URL here. So we're going to copy that. We'll jump back over here, paste our URL in there. And you'll notice in our URL at the very end where it says slash dev, we're going to add question mark path equals. And we want this to equal whatever our sheet name is. So we've built this doc out here and our sheet that we're pulling the data from is sheet one. So we'll jump back over there and it is case sensitive. We'll type in sheet one and click enter. When we do that, we should begin seeing some JSON data. And there it is. We can see months and customers being pulled through. So now we can begin building out the site side of things. Let's go ahead and jump into our WordPress install. We're gonna go to appearance and theme file editor here. And we wanna make sure that we are in our child theme. We're gonna jump into our functions.php and we have a little PHP filter we're gonna throw in here for Cornerstone. I actually got this from Alexander over at ThemeCo from one of their videos. We're gonna go ahead and paste that in here. And what this filter is doing is creating a custom looper and the name of that looper is HTTP. And that's actually how we're going to reference this filter here. And then it's looking for a URL parameter, which is gonna be our API URL, where it's gonna then pull data from. So let's go ahead and update our file. Now, with our Google Sheets API created and our custom HTTP looper created here, we can begin building out our chart. So let's jump into Cornerstone and we're gonna click the plus sign and we'll add a new page. Let's call this our home page, and we'll go into settings and set the status to publish just so we can view this on the front end nice and easy. And we'll go ahead and save. 
Now we'll click that we're starting from scratch and we're not going to get into a whole lot of design here. We want to see the functionality of this unfold. So if you have purchased CS charts, you will actually find that under your elements pane here. We're going to use a line chart and drag and drop that directly into our page here. And you'll notice that as soon as you open this up, there are label sets and there are data sets and there's some demo content in both of these, but we are going to power both of these via loopers and consumers. So we only need one label and one piece of data. Now we'll start with our label set, which is going to be our months of the year on our X axis down here. So we'll click on the label set container here, click customize looper provider custom provider and as you'll recall the name of our custom provider was http and then it's looking for that url parameter so we'll go into our params here and just add curly bracket url colon and now we want our api url to fall within these quotes so we're going to jump back to our app script here we're going to go to deploy and we want to make sure that we are not using our test deployment URL, but we actually use our active deployment URL. So we're going to go to manage deployments. We're going to grab our web app URL from right here. We're going to copy that, jump back over to our build, paste that in here and add question mark path equals. And then whatever our sheet is, remember it is case sensitive. So we're going to add sheet one. And now we should begin to see our labels populating with the labels from our Google Sheets here. So now let's go ahead and just copy this so we have it for a minute. And we're going to jump back to the primary level of our line chart. And now we're going to do the same thing for our data set. We'll jump into data. We'll go to customize. We'll turn on our looper provider. We'll go to custom. We'll reference that function we put in there, HTTP. Open our parameters, pop in our URL for our API, go back over to general. And now on that data, we're going to go ahead and inspect that. We're going to tell it to consume all data, but again, it has no idea what it's consuming from that looper provider. So we go back over to general and we're going to click on our dynamic content. We're going to type in looper and we want to specify a field. And again, we want that field to be customers. So we'll go ahead and type in customers again case sensitive and add that in and now we are seeing data populating 100 200 300 400 and so on let's go ahead and just specify a color here we'll go ahead and pick this teal and we'll set that for our border color for now as well go ahead and save and view this on the front end and here is our chart now this is pulling live data from our google sheets api which means if I were to jump over to our Google Sheet and I were to change the first three months to Jan, Jan, and Jan, and I were to change our numbers from 100 to 500 to 100, all I don't even have to save this. All I have to do is jump back over to our website here, and we have Jan, Feb, March. I'm going to go ahead and refresh. And the data from the Google Sheet is now powering our chart meaning the chart updates. So Jan, 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 100, 500, 100, and then back to normal. So now we are fully powering our CS charts using Google Sheets. As always, I hope you guys find these videos useful. I would love to see your use cases. Leave examples of those in the comments below. Ask questions, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.